Mila, I'd like to talk to you about something. Is now a good time? Good evening. How may I help you? Are you really going to marry my son? What? What do you mean? I'm engaged to Neil. We're getting married in a week. Oh, so it's still a week away. So there's still time to cancel the wedding. Excuse me? Cancel? As usual, you're not very perceptive. I don't want to give my precious son to a woman like you. Huh? Neil is my only son whom I raised with great care. And he's still in his thirties. And you're already forty years old. How can you be forty and still be single? There must be something wrong with you. Neil and I are five years apart in age. I knew you were against our marriage. But you said you didn't care about the age difference. He chose me. And when I went to your house to discuss the engagement, you gave your approval for the marriage. I couldn't oppose in front of my husband and son. Everyone in the family is so fond of you. It's a pain in the ass. Mila is a responsible person and what not. Showering you with compliments about how we can trust our son with a wife who's older than him. I had no choice but to agree to the marriage. But the truth was that I was against it. I didn't want to see the middle-aged woman who seduced my son in a wedding dress. Don't you think that's a bit harsh? I'm just telling you how I really feel. I know my son will be unhappy if he marries you. How can I give my blessing? I don't care what you say. We've already decided to get married. Besides, at your age, it's hard to have children, isn't it? What? It's too late to start having kids at 40. I don't think so. I dream of holding my grandchildren in my arms. Huh? That's why I wanted a young bride. I don't want a wife who can't even produce an heir. An heir? Well, about that. Yes, yes, I know. Nowadays, an heir is so old-fashioned. You're going to say that it could be a girl, aren't you? That's not what I meant. But I'm telling you, Neil is our only son and the eldest. I need my daughter-in-law to have a boy no matter what. So I, for one, will not be attending the wedding. What? What's going on all of a sudden? The seating chart is already made. Your seat has already been arranged. I won't recognize you as my daughter-in-law. There's no way I could ever be at the wedding. I can't have you cancel for that reason. Please tell the wedding hall that I won't be attending. Oh no, even though you're the groom's mother? I'm sure the guests will wonder why the groom's mother isn't there. If you don't come, Neil will be disappointed. If you don't like it, cancel the wedding. Oh, that's absurd. Anyway, I'm against your marriage. If you don't want to be embarrassed as a couple, cancel the wedding, understand? Neil, have you finished work yet? I'm on the train home. I'll be home soon. I see. You're such a hard worker. It's unusual to get a text from you at this hour. Is something wrong? Actually, I have a problem. Hmm? What's wrong? I got a text from your mother just now. She's against our marriage, so she said she won't even attend the ceremony. What? Seriously? She's so stubborn. It seems your mother really doesn't want me to be her daughter-in-law. Well... When you came to my parents' house to meet them, she seemed to be in a bad mood the whole time, even though she said she approved of the marriage. She didn't make eye contact with me even once. Don't tell me it's the age thing again. Yes, that's it. She said there must be something wrong with me because I'm still single at 40. She was going on about that again. Oh, man. There are so many people getting married over 40 nowadays. I wish she'd stop. 
So, she says, if we don't want her to miss the wedding, then cancel it. What? No way. She seemed serious. No, no, no. There's no way we can cancel it. It's only a week away. But if she doesn't show up, it'll be a problem for you too, right? Well, yeah. It doesn't look good if the groom's mother isn't there, does it? What should I do? I wonder if I can somehow persuade her to attend the wedding. Well, we'll just have to have the ceremony without her. Without your mother? We have no choice. I don't think she'll listen to us. Are you sure about this? We've worked so hard to get everything ready. We can't put up with her selfishness. Well... On the contrary, it's probably a good thing she's not there. What? You know, Mila, you never know what she'll do when she gets emotional. It would have been a disaster if she got pissed off and stormed out in the middle of the ceremony. That's true. Your mother said she didn't want to see me in my wedding dress. I'm just going to give up mom coming this time around. All I need is my dad. And like mom, he's looking forward to our wedding. Well, then how do you explain to the guests that your mother can't come? We'll just tell them she's sick. That's fine. By the way, Mila, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm fine for now. I can go to work just fine. That's good, but don't overdo it. Even if you feel bad during the ceremony, don't hesitate to tell me. Thank you, Neil. Mila, have you canceled the wedding? No, I haven't. What? You haven't canceled yet? The wedding is tomorrow, right? After all those times I told you to cancel it, call the wedding hall right now. I'm sorry, but no. The wedding will go ahead as planned. What the? How can you be fine without the groom's mother? I've discussed it with Neil. We've made all these preparations and we can't cancel now. You're kidding. Is that what he said too? If you don't want to come, that's fine. My father-in-law promised he'd be there. We'll have the wedding without you. What a smart ass. You're horrible. I'm doing this for Neil's sake. I'm asking you to cancel the ceremony. No, it's not for Neil's sake. It's your own selfishness, isn't it? Huh? Neil and his father, they're looking forward to the wedding. I don't know about that. You'll find out what happens when you cross me. Oh, that felt good. Hey, Mila, you must regret challenging me, right? How do you feel now? I thought you weren't coming to the wedding. Why did you come all of a sudden? I changed my mind. I guess you thought I wouldn't show up and let your guard down. But I'm sorry. I ruined your wedding. I told the wedding staff and the receptionist that you would not be attending. How did you get into the ceremony? I'm the groom's mother. I explained that I had to attend on short notice. They let me through without a hitch. Mila, you must have been surprised to see me. I was surprised. I was walking down the hallway when my mother-in-law suddenly appeared and sprayed ink on me. You were so proud of your white dress, but now it's all black from the ink. It looks more like a morning dress than a wedding dress. That dress was precious to me. That was going too far. What are you going to do? Of course we have to cancel the wedding, don't we? You can't go out in public with that dress covered in black ink. You're going to go to hell. Huh? Hell is an exaggeration. I just taught the cocky little bride a lesson. It's your fault for not heeding my advice and for forcing the wedding in the first place. Are you still at the wedding hall? No way. I got a taxi and got out of there. You ran away, didn't you? Of course I ran away. It would have been troublesome if someone from the wedding hall found out. Even though it was a cheap rental dress... 
I'd be screwed if I had to pay for it. I see. The wedding is cancelled anyway. Why don't you just give up on getting married altogether? Huh? You've learned the hard way that if you disobey me, you'll get hurt, haven't you? If you learn from this, give up on my son. I'll find a more suitable woman for him, ideally in her mid-twenties. A boy to be his heir, of course, and at least three grandchildren. Well, you can fantasize all you want. If you just dream about it, it won't bother anyone. Huh? Are you still going to challenge me? I'm going to change now and get ready for the ceremony. Now if you'll excuse me. Preparations for the wedding? I told you we can't have a wedding, you stubborn bitch. You can go back to being a miserable bachelorette and start looking for a new husband all over again. Mila, what's going on? Mila, answer me. I'm sorry, I've been so busy. I didn't have time to check my phone. Is something wrong? My husband asked me for a divorce. What? He said he can't forgive me for putting ink on your dress. Oh, I see. Mila, how dare you tell my husband? All you had to do was to keep quiet. How could I keep quiet after being inked? But why was he so angry? Just because I stained a cheap rental dress? I don't understand why he's even asking for a divorce. Your husband has every right to be angry. Why? That dress wasn't a rental. Was it the dress that was bought? Yes, it was. But it was a cheap one anyway. That's outrageous. Your husband knows a wedding dress designer. He asked him to make it for me, and it was custom made. What? He went to all that trouble just for you? I think that's how happy he was about our marriage. But you ruined the dress by covering it in ink. After he went out of his way to prepare it for me. I didn't... I didn't know it was custom made. Neither my husband nor my son told me anything. Why didn't you tell me either? Neil told me to keep it a secret from you. If you found out that he bought me a dress, we didn't know what you might do. But you made a mess of it. In the end, I wasn't able to wear the dress. My father-in-law was very patient during the ceremony. But inside, he was about to explode with anger. So, you didn't cancel the wedding? No, we didn't. When I told the staff at the wedding hall about the situation, I was able to rent a dress on short notice. The wedding ceremony could be held without any problems. Oh, no. That means all my plans are ruined, and my husband is divorcing me. I can't be single again at my age. How am I supposed to live by myself when I'm a housewife? Mila, please, explain to my husband that it was an accident. Excuse me? I just happened to get ink that was lying beside me on it. Tell him I didn't do it. No, I don't think so. There's no way there was ink on the floor at the wedding, and there's no way it could have happened by accident. But I don't want to be divorced. That being said, it's my father-in-law's decision and he's been thinking about divorcing you for a while. That's not true. It is true. I heard it directly from him. He was fed up with you being selfish and picking on me. But age is age, and you are a full-time housewife, so he was reluctant to divorce you. But this time around, when you put ink on my dress, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. He said he couldn't be with an insane woman anymore. Um, you were destined to get divorced sooner or later. Then you're the one who should convince him. Tell him to reconsider divorce. Why should I? 
Because you don't want your in-laws to split up so early in your marriage, do you? No, I'm happy with just my father-in-law. What are you saying? Are you saying you don't want me? Well, I have an after-party to attend to, so if you'll excuse me. Mila, just wait! <coughs> Mila, what are you doing? What is it this time? I just got a divorce from my husband, and now my son has declared that he's cutting ties with me. He said he'll cut off parent-child ties with a mother who'd ink his wife's dress. Well, of course. It's all your fault. Huh? You seduced my son and forced him into a wedding, and then... You cheekily wore a custom-made dress. I can understand why my husband, who bought the dress for you, was mad at me. But why is my son blaming me? Why do you blame me for defiling my dress? It's natural to be angry when someone does something insane. And perhaps Neil was worried about my body. What? Actually, I'm pregnant. A baby! I was scared too. I was walking down the hallway when I was suddenly inked. I was so scared that I almost fell down. I was terrified that something might happen to the baby. What? Wait! Mila, you're pregnant? Yes. Why didn't you tell me that first? I tried to tell you many times, but you said there was no way I could have a baby at 40. You wouldn't listen to me. I didn't realize it at all. Your stomach isn't big or anything. I'm still in the early stages of pregnancy. So that means you have my grandchild in your belly? Mila, you've done it. If it's a boy, it's perfect. Huh? What are you talking about? The baby in my belly is not your grandchild. What? It's Neil's child, so of course it's my grandchild. That's not true. You are no longer mother and son. Don't be so cruel. It's been my dream for years to hold a grandchild. I'm sorry your dream didn't come true. Mila, I'm sorry for everything I've done. So don't tell me to cut off our relationship. You can't say that. It was Neil's decision to cut off our relationship with you. So you have to talk to Neil for me. Don't depend on me anymore. It's okay. We're family. You've hated and harassed me for so long. Don't call me family after all that's happened. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'll take good care of you from now on, Mila. No, it's too late now. I'll file a damage report from my side. A damage report? Yes. Wait. Why are you filing a damage report? It's a crime to splash ink on someone. But there isn't any evidence because I ran away right then and there. I didn't realize it at the time either. There are security cameras all over the wedding hall. It seems your crime was recorded in its entirety. So, the evidence is still there. Oh no, please don't call the police. If you don't want to go to the police... We can settle out of court. I'll charge you a hefty fee. Of course, I'll also charge you for cleaning the dress. Well... Either way, you'd better pay for your crime. I can't. I don't have that kind of money. Well then, I'm going for a checkup now, so if you'll excuse me. Mila, wait! <coughs> Mila, forgive me. <coughs> Let me hold my grandson. <coughs> Don't abandon me. After that, my parents-in-law divorced and my ex-mother-in-law was kicked out of the house. My ex-mother-in-law begged me not to go to the police. We ended up settling out of court and I got compensation, including the cost of cleaning the dress. 
My ex-mother-in-law, who had no savings, went to her relatives and borrowed money. Somehow, she was able to pay the compensation. She is now staying with her sister and her husband. Because of her bad personality, she already has been avoided by most of her relatives. But after the wedding incident, she was disliked even more. I think the day may soon come when she will be kicked out of her sister's house and become homeless. On the other hand, I gave birth to a healthy baby boy. I am exhausted every day because I gave birth at an advanced age, and this is the first time for me to raise a child. Thanks to my husband's cooperation, I am enjoying raising my child. My father-in-law also comes to visit me once in a while to take care of my child. We had a lot of trouble at the wedding, but we will continue to get along well with each other as a family. I would like to continue to spend time with my family happily. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.